guys, welcome back to my channel. High five. Today, I want to go over all of my last set of boxy charms, which is the boxy charm premiums. But I have bad news. My stupid dumb went through an entire box, but my OBS studio was streaming. So I was not recording anything. So I have an entire box that I already opened, reacted to, and I didn't get any footage. Help me! The way that we're gonna do the first box, then it's going to be, I am going to show you guys what I got, and then we're gonna move on because we still have seven boxes to go. <laughs> if you guys don't know, BoxyCharm has a BoxyCharm Premium, which is the boxes that we're gonna go through today. I don't remember the prices because it has been a long time. I don't do videos on BoxyCharm charm premium but during editing i am going to place the price around here for you the theme of the first box that i opened reacted to and did not film anything was festival vibes as soon as i was going to swatch something i looked down and i realized i'm not filming <gasps> i'm not filming <gasps> oh my god what a dummy. In that box, I got a Too Faced Rich and Dazzling High Shine Sparkling Gloss in the shade Hidden Talents. It's a pinkish purplish kind of lip gloss that he has a little bit of a golden hue. I try to open it up and look at this. It sounds like it's going to be a little bit of a um, glossy, sticky kind of gloss, and I'm not a huge fan of sticky glosses. The next thing I got, Sasha Denona Blush Duo. The Blush Duo comes with a little mirror, and it has a pinkish and a peachy kind of blush. I have nothing from Natasha Denona, and I'm super excited. One of the things that I love the most about this first box is the products. Holy moly the next thing i got was a kopari coconut oil face cream it's not oily at all if you super hydrating it smells like coconut and it's not overpowering the smell is very subtle it's really nice the third item we got in this box was three brushes from opulent beauty and these brushes are super 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 soft hell yeah i have a kobuki brush i have a fluffy brush and i have a what to look like a highlighter or a blush brush which is really nice i'm actually gonna pass those along to friends because i have way too many brushes but these look so good and they feel amazing the next thing I got in this box was a Wonder Beauty Mile High Club mascara and I've seen Alexandra Ryan getting this mascara over and over and over again on BoxyCharm and I never got one. I am in love with this packaging because this is a mascara that comes in a packaging that looks like a lip gloss packaging and I always wondered if this is more efficient for product usage because you can always kind of like palpate and make the products come down. Oh, definitely get to it. I am so excited to use it. And if you guys need me to give you updates on the efficiency of this packaging, follow me on my socials. And I will probably, if you guys want me to, just post down in the comments and I will be making a highlight on this product. Ask for it and you shall receive. Dun, dun, dun. The last but not least product in this box and it's the most amazing thing. And I am so freaking happy I got it. Life is a drag from many MUA. I'm so excited because most of the time I cannot be buying every single release from every single creator and I want to support them. I have Bailey Sirium's palette. I have Rob Beauty Chrissy's palette. Some of Jeffree Star's palette. I also have James Charles palette, but let's not talk about it. And now I have many MUA. And if I think a little harder, I might have other creators palettes because I want to support as many creators as possible. Regardless of how we feel about any of them right now, I always wanna try and I always wanna see how these palettes are. Take that, America. I love how this packaging is hollow. Holographic. I think that Simply Neological would love this. Are you seeing magical sparkly rainbows? Does it give you some kind of feeling? What about in this lower area? Is a unicorn whispering dirty things in your ear? That's a hollow. Look at this, Christine. Amazing. The answer is rainbows. The answer is hollow. Hello, hello, hello. You say goodbye, I say hello. It has a mirror that says, be a queen. The colors are absolutely stunning. You have some everyday colors right here that you can use for work. You have some party colors right here that you can use just to go out in town. And it also comes with its own little brush. It's a whole entire kit all in one. And the brush is really nice as well. It's very soft. So let's watch 
KK, which is a pink colored. Woo, look at that girl. So here is Beat and KK. This one is fishy, the blue one. In the box that this palette came, there is a note from many that says, I dedicated this palette to all my makeup lovers out there. We are all queens. My first experience in the makeup world was in drag, which is why drag has been such an important influence in my life and always will be i've worked so hard to come up with a beautiful mix of neutral and bright colors that blend effortlessly i know you have fun creating sickening looks with it as much as i had creating it thank you all for the constant support life is a drag wouldn't be here without you i love this little message i am glad that i have the palettes to give it a try but let's go over the pricing and let's go over what we got all right lunar beauty 40 $45. The Copari Coconut Face Cream is $38. The Natasha Denona Blush Duo Palette is $38. The Opulent Beauty Crystal Clear 3-Piece Brush Collection is $40. Let me be honest with you guys. Besides the fact that the brush is really soft, that handle looks like it came from AliExpress. So to charge $40, I'm a little... Eh. The Too Faced Rich Dazzling Lip Gloss $21. And the Wonder Beauty Mile High Club volume and length mascara is $26 that's an expensive mascara but yeah sadly I'm so sorry that I couldn't react in real time for you guys on those items because I thought I was filming it but I wasn't I'm gonna stop babbling and go for the second box so I placed everything in, in one on top of the other so I have no idea what the order of these boxes is so the theme is candy shop the first item I got here is a lot of Geller New York 50 kisses lip gloss liquid color and is in the shade makeout Merlot it is kind of dark for me I mm, this doe foot is fun and it's a very similar doe foot to I think the Kylie cosmetics doe foot let me check no, it's not. I'm talking. It's pretty similar from the half caked doe foot, not the Kylie Jenner. It's pretty similar to this doe foot. I'm gonna pass this along to my best friend Julie because she loves red, it's her favorite color. So this is gonna go to her. Next up we have Kosas, a color and light cream. It's a cream blush and highlighter. I never heard of this. It's in the shade 8th Muse. And it says, it's an iconic pink rose duo for classic brush and just kissed flush. The packaging is pretty nice and classic. It looks really good. Again, it has its shade in the back. Oh, it's a nice little cream duo. It does look pretty similar to the other box from the Natasha Denona so I guess that the Natasha Denona is powder but the colors the colors are pretty similar I feel that this this pink is a little too much for me at this point I have way too many blushes Next up we have Go To Exfoliating Swipeys. It says here, we all need some magic swipey pad thingies. I say thingies a lot. It looks like just a regular cream kind of packaging. And then when you open it, it has some wipes inside and they're like singles. It has water, lactic acid, aloe vera, ethanol. I don't like the fact that it has like some sort of alcohol in it and it does have more than one kind of alcohol. I am going to research on this and see if this is good, but I'm gonna give it a try. Next up we have a new red hydration hydrating toner. I love face things. Next up we have a Fenty Beauty product by Rihanna and this is a brow pencil in the shade medium brown which is a good shade for me so I am going to open it and take a look. It's a pretty nice packaging and it has something right here which is a little brush and right here it has the actual pencil. I'm going to give it a try and I'll let you guys know. Last but not least, we have another eyeshadow palette, Illuminati X ISA, designed by Isabella Bedoya. I do not know who Isabella Bedoya is. Let me Google it. All right, it seems like that Isabella Bedoya is a self-made beauty guru, but she doesn't have a YouTube channel or anything. She worked like in fashion week and things like that she famous enough for that if you guys know more about isabella bedoya let me know do it it has a lot of glitters and a lot of very hey i'm here colors it looks like it has some metallics some mattes and a whole lot of glitters 
The colors are kind of... Hmm, hmm, hmm. I do not want to swatch this because these colors are not something that I'm gonna use. It is an interesting color palette overall, but it's not something that I will probably be using. I, I honestly, I don't look... I don't feel excited about, especially this sour green right here. Kind of looks a lot more exciting on camera, but to me right here in person, it really looks like just green apple. I'm ready to party. This is going to go either to you guys or to a friend. Let's go ahead and read the prices for this stuff. The Illuminati Cosmetics X ISA eyeshadow palettes $48. Wow. We just had a Many MUA palette that is $45. It's so nicely packaged. It comes with its own brush. And this other palette's package, it's just so run of the mill. I don't want to talk about anybody, you guys. But compared to these colors, to the Many MUA palette's colors, I am completely in love with this palette because this palette has everything you need for a fun party night in town and you have everything you need for AOR everyday makeup. Whereas here, it's pretty much glitters, metallics, and some really boring mattes. But to each their own, if you like Isabella Bedoya and you think that her palette is better, by all means. But I'm 100% rather get the Many Way one than the, that other one. Shay. Let's go ahead and go for a third box. This box is feeling a little light. I'm not gonna lie to you, so let's see what's going on here. The first product we got is Dermalect XL Lash Volumizer. Eyelash plus eyebrow booster formula. Transforms lashes to appear longer, thicker, fuller, and stronger. Specially formulated to target thin, weak, and brittle lashes. Formulated with strengthening trio of active multiple peptides. Conditioning treatment works to bolster, moisturize, and fortify unbeatable coverage and volume excellent for brows too yeah this is the packaging it has like a mascara wand it's probably to be put on uh, before mascara i'm guessing let's see how do you use before bedtime apply to clean dry lashes from the root to the tip so this is gonna go next to my bed with the exfoliating cream next up we have only Harrison banana bright face primer instantly illuminates hydrates and improves foundation wear all day with vitamin c oh that's exciting it sure is baby i love me some primer i just exploded the box right now this is how the packaging looks like pretty packaging it's nice the even the oh look at that it has like a pump thing oh look at that oh it pumps a lot so i'm going to put this away and it feels nice it's very creamy it looks kind of yellowish it smells like nothing. It looks like baby poop. It looks like baby poop. Help me. Okay, next up we have here Fenty Beauty. So this is just a brush. It does not have anything. It's just a portable contour, contour and concealer brush. So you lower it and you're exposing the brush right there and then you can pull it up again and the brush is in. I am not really... It does not have any product inside, but it's heavy. I am going to actually pass this along. I don't think uh, nobody wants this. I mean, I don't want it. Milk Makeup Longwear Gel Liner. Ooh, I love gel liners. This is a Milk Makeup Longwear Gel Liner. And it has, ooh, this is a cool color. This is in the shade PTO, a blue liner. We have a little sponge on the other side. Next up is a MAC Satin Lipstick in the shade Mocha. It's a full-size MAC lipstick. Ooh, this is a pretty color. I am going to keep this, so I am going to swatch it for us. Ooh, sexy. It's pretty nice, pretty creamy. Last but not least, we got another palette, a Ciate London. It's an 18-piece eyeshadow palette. It looks like a little toy palette. The shades are really tiny. Most of them are metallics or glitters it has a nice size mirror on top it does give me a vibe of like toy because this is a plastic kind of a palette and then all of the shades are metallic you have four matte shades from the 18 so you have 14 metallic shades i will probably not be using this so this is going to be going right back to the box and i wonder how much this palette is i don't want anything to do with this palette i'm sorry yeah 
No. Sadly, this box did not have any paper saying what was the theme of the box. Did it? Two hours later. This fourth box also feels a little light, so let's see what happens. The theme of this box is Mother Nature. So it's like a spring box, I'm guessing. First we have Pure Heels Centella 90 Ampule. Soothing ampule which contains Centella Asiatica extract. It relieves irritation and sensitive skin and strengthens the skin barrier. So this is a skin kind of treatment. I'm gonna drop one on my hand and see if this is oily. If it is oily, it must go. It does have very, very nice herbal smell and it's not, it's not oily at all. It's like watery and refreshing. So I'm going to give it a try. I don't like the oils. <laughs> Next up we have Sugar Rush Tarte Best Bud Lip Butter Balm. And this is on the shade Pio Peony. <gasps> Look at this packaging. It smells like candy though. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Next up we have Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil Longwear Gilded Bronzer. Ooh, a bronzer, like an actual bronzer. I am so excited. I am on a never ending quest to be the most beautiful person in the world. I've been using contour as a bronzer as of late. And as always, Too Faced has the prettiest packaging Ever. Their packaging is always super cute and this bronzer is so nice looking and I do have the chocolate gold palette So this is going to go perfectly with my palette and I'm going to be using this pretty soon I'm very excited. I really like this and this is in the shade 310 F as in Frank. Next up we have a Kevin Alcoin the Expert Mascara in the shade black This is a very nice golden package. It has a nice wand with a curve. I really use a lot of mascara, so this is gonna stay with me. I use a lot of mascara. I run out of mascara all the time, so I'm very glad that I got more mascara. Next up we have Milk Makeup, a lip glow oil, lip and cheek in the shade Astro. And then let me see, I'm gonna turn it and then it's gonna go up like that. And I'm gonna take this out, bam. And then we have the product right here. It looks pretty nice and it's just a lip tint and I'm gonna use it eventually and you see how it goes. I like lip tints because sometimes you wanna just go a little less Lipsticky. Yeah. Last but not least, we have Bentington brush set. Let's see what this brush set has to offer for us. This is a powder brush and this is a contour and foundation brush. These are pretty nice and these are pretty soft. I'm probably gonna keep them when I want to get rid of my Jeffree Star sponges. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep those brushes. Let's go over the paperwork and see how much these items were. The Kevin Alcoin Expert Mascara is $29. The Too Faced Cosmetics Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer is $30. The Milk Makeup Glow Oil Lip Plus Cheek is $15. The Bennington Beauty Powder and Contour Brush Set is $90. $90? $90? Holy shit. Take my money. The Tarte Sugar Rush Best Bud Lip Butter Balm is $12. And the Pure Heels Centella 90 Ampule Serum is $28. Like these items are really, really expensive. Wow. Let's go for box number five. Bam. Ooh, there's a box. What? There's a bag in there? Ooh, that's so exciting. Mm. The theme of this box is sunshine. Probably a summer box, so let's see. I'm gonna grab that biggest item for last. But first, we are gonna talk about Laura Jones Rich CBD Formula Body Oil Fragrance Free. I can already tell you that I don't use CBD. The Lord works in mysterious ways. It has it's like a, a little kind of a system to break the seal to use the packaging. I'm not gonna break the seal because I generally don't use fragrance-free things and I, as of now, don't use CBD oil stuff. Next up we have Laura Geller Lining Define, a dual dimension eyeliner in the shade black slash black. Oh, this is interesting, it's really thick. Oh wow, all right, whoa, it's like a crayon. <laughs> it's like a Sharpie <laughs> for your eyes. Oh, ooh. Interesting. It's like you can't stab people. Stab, 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 stab. 
I most likely will not use it. Next up we have Pericone MD No Makeup Lipstick. This is a broad spectrum SPF 15 no makeup lipstick. Oh, this is cute. This is a metal packaging lip tint. So it's a FPS and it's probably just to protect your lips. It's a nice packaging. You don't have to worry about it if you toss it in your bag because it, it spins and it locks. And this is gonna be a very nice item to have. I just think that this box was way too big for it. But besides that, great job. So next up is this bag. It says Boxy Charm right there. And then it has these cute little pom-poms that you can put some makeup, like some to-go stuff in there. And just go, you know, it's it's really cute. I'm going to leave it around here just in case I need it, but I might not ever need it. <laughs> we'll see. Next up is Kenya Ontiveros Beauty Set and Define Kit. I am guessing this is a contour kit. Ooh, this is so fancy looking. Look at this, this is beautiful. It looks like crocodile skin. And it is a contour and highlight palette. This is very nice. I am going to keep this. Last but not least, Morphe and Many MUA Glam Palette. We have too many MUA palettes today. It's been so special for me to collaborate with Morphe on this glam collection. I'm so proud to be a part of a brand that can bring you such amazing quality at an affordable price. I know you guys will feel beautiful wearing these shades. It's 14 shades of Ultimate Glam. Even on this palette with Morphe, the quality of his palette, it's very nice. It looks like marble. It kind of feels like a very good palette. And let's see the colors. Oh, on this palette, he had more of a wearable everyday kind of color, a little bit of a daring night out color. And he also had two highlights right there. This is pretty nice, but I already have one any MUA palette. So I'm going to repackage this palette. I'm not going to swatch it. And potentially I'm gonna pass this along because I have way too many palettes right now. Morphe, to be honest, I've had Morphe collab palettes and um, the James Charles. I have the James Charles Morphe palette. And I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm not impressed. I'm really not. Let me know down in the comments what do you think. Let's go over all of these items. In this box was Sunshine. The Morphe XMUA Glam Palette was $20. Lord Jones High CBD Formula Body Lotion, $40. Ericone MD No Makeup Lipsticks, $30. Laura Geller Lining the Fine Dual Dimension Eyeliners or Sharpies, $24. Kenya Otiveros Beauty Satin Define Kits, $42. Wow. And the Boxy charm neon jelly pouch with pompon is $20. Three boxes to go, you guys. We are almost done. Let's go ahead and get to the next box. The next box. This box is also not super heavy, which is interesting, but here we go. Oh, the harvest. So we know that this is a fall box harvest there's a lot of bubble wrap here the first thing we got here is those of colors this is in the shade caffeine queen this is a single eyeshadow it's pretty deep brown i do not use this kind of color very often especially to have just a single next we have ilia color block high impact lipstick and it's in the shade rosette the box is a little beat up already, so it looks like this... Ooh, this is a nice... It's super cold. It's a metal kind of bullet-looking package. And uh, this is the color, kind of like reddish. But look at this. What is that? What is in here? Do you guys see this? Realer Lip Line Duo. I don't really use lip liners very often. So we have two lip liners right here. Burgundy sort of color and then a caramel kind of color. They're very nice and thin. I am not going to swatch them. I don't use lip liners very often. Next we have Grown Alchemist Detox Night Cream. And I actually have one of these Detox Alchemists. I think that this is a very big package. This is only 1.35 ounces, so this is a travel size kind of like item. Maybe I'll keep it for traveling. Here we have a Cosmetics. Oh, I have something like that that I got in Ipsy that I actually like a lot more. One side is a silicone kind of like scrubby, a mechanical scrub, and then the other one one is like a, a fluffy brush uh, to massage your face. I'm gonna give this to my friend because I'm sure that she's going to appreciate this. Last but not least, we have a Il Maquillage 
um, eyeshadow palette. This is a beautiful package. It is like, it is a carton package, but still feels fancy. It feels velvety. It's very pretty. Um, let's see the colors. Ooh, these colors are nice. You have like a, a whole lot of mattes down here and then all the metallics on top. These colors are kind of nice. And then we have this mirror up here. I have never used Il Maquillage. The one thing that I don't like is the fact that the name of the shades are on this plastic, so you need to keep the plastic here, otherwise you will never know the name of the shades again, which is weird. I do have a lot of um, a lot of eye palettes that are this way, that are very like monotone and like very muted. All right, we have two more boxes, you guys. But before we go to the two more boxes, let's go over the prices of this last box. The Grown Alchemist Detox Night Cream Peptide 3 is $125. This is $125. The Il Maquillage Artistry Palette is $50. The Ilia Beauty Color Block High Impact Lipstick is $28. The Cosmetics Skin Care Brush Set is $25. The Dose of Color Block Party Single Eyeshadow is $20. And the Lip Liner Duo is $25. These two boxes are the heaviest boxes in the bunch. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these products. I purchase everything that I open up in this channel. And I still have some boxes, but they're not beauty boxes. I still have some stuff left. I do have a Harry Potter mystery box that I promised one of you guys that I was going to do last summer. So it's gonna be a year already that I've been intending to make this video, but we're gonna get to it. I'm so sorry that I took so long, but let's get to the next box. Glam Vibes theme. I already saw some exciting things. I am very excited already. The first item we got here is a Emma Hardy Brilliance Facial Oil Overnight Treatment. I don't use oil, so this is going to go to a giveaway or I'm gonna pass it along. I'm not even gonna open it, you guys. Next we have Ole Hair and Skin Fat Glow Facial. Instant exfoliates and illuminates. So this is an exfoliator for your skin. It has PHAs and Nordic Birch SAP. It has a pump right there it's very cool very well made and i will give it a try eventually ice roller from kish cleanser ritual for your overworked sensitive skin it cleans dry skin remove ice roller from the freezer and allow it to sit for a few minutes in addition to benefits apply serum sheet mask oh okay it's an ice roller you leave this in your fridge and then you will get this cold in the freezer or whatever and then you just to your skin. I'm going to bring this to my mama. I do not use this, so this is gonna go to my mom. A Marc Jacobs eyeliner, wow, I'm fancy. BoxyCharm is making me not want to give up the subscription, which I already have. And this is in the shade black, I think. Oh, these are the eyeliners I love. I love these eyeliners. But this is not a felt tip, it's like one of those hard tips. But it does draw very nice and thin and very easy to control. So I'm really liking this. I am definitely keeping this eyeliner because I'm running out of eyeliners. Honestly, the one eyeliner I have and I love is from the 99 cent store. I live by that eyeliner. Oh my God, I am in freaking luck. I have another Marc Jacob product in this box and it is the Enamored Lip Gloss in the shade French Tickler. In what color the French tickles? It's kind of like a light color, pinkish, peachy and it has a, a little bit of a purple heel. I'm afraid this is gonna be sticky. It definitely is sticky. Oh, it has plump. Like a plump beach. I can feel the plump. All right. It's a plump. I'm going to keep that now since I already used it. I do not usually use sticky kind of, uh, no. I hate it. Last but not least, we have another eyeshadow palette from Eloise. The eyeshadow palette is named The Queen. There's a queen in all of us. Let's see what this eyeshadow palette has to offer. Eloise, The Queen palette possesses immense energy of life, femininity, and strength. Each color tells a story. Each color holds infinite power and carries a unique narrative. Our colors are inspired by stories, tales, and legends of kingdoms. Taking you through a journey in time, from the past to the present, an era of femininity, grace, and power. 20 pigment palettes, 4 stunning textures, 8 buttery mattes, 6 shimmers, 1 pressed pearl, 4 metallics, and 1 dual chrome topper. There's a huge mirror here, and then we have a whole lot of 
very pink and red and purple and orange colors and some blues in there. This is a crazy eyeshadow palette and it has names like My Lady, Empress, Queen, Majesty, Crown. This is very pretty. However, this is not a palette that I think I would be using a lot. Once again, subscribe. So before we go and move on to our last box, let's go over the products that we just talked about. Eloise Beauty, the Queen Eyeshadow Palette is $46. Between that palette and Manny MUA, I'm sorry, Manny MUA is winning. For me, let me know down in the comments between all of these palettes that we got so far, which one wins for you? Ole Henry Skin F Glow Facial, $50. Emma Hardier Brilliance Facial Oil is $55. And then the Ice Roller is $18. The Marc Jacobs Beauty Enamored Lip Shine is $29. And the Marc Jacobs Eyeliner is $27. So we're down to our last box. Ugh. This is the heaviest box in the bunch. So we're going to have this box and then after that, we're not gonna have any more BoxyCharm opening videos in this channel. Wow, this is a heavy one and it has a lot of stuff. I can already see a brush there. This is the Oasis theme box. We have another milk makeup, but this one is in the shade Halo. Next up, we have Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask, and I'm also going to give this away, so I'm not gonna open it. It's a sleeping mask. You put it at night, it has retinol. It's for dry and normal skin. It has PHA as well. There's a lot of PHA everywhere nowadays, huh? Next up is a Living Proof Restore Repair Living Conditioner. Oh, it smells so nice. It smells like new doll grapes and yummy. Next up, we have a dual brush, billion dollar brushes. What is this? What, what is happening here? Does this look like a billion dollar brush to you? Look at this. It came so damaged. Wow. Clearly, I can see synthetic. It doesn't move. It's just damaged the way it is. This side, the brush is really cute. It's a buffing brush, and this side is like a kabuki brush. All right, I'm going to place it back on this, and I'm going to be passing this along to a friend. The reason why this box is heavy is because of this. This is a Grayson Stella. It's like an energy drink for your face, and it's an anti-wrinkle and energized face mask. It has six masks in here, and uh, it is really heavy. I guess we are going to use it's them. Like Last but not least, Too Faced Cocoa Contour. So this is a contour palette from Too Faced, and I also have a bronzer from Too Faced. This is crazy. I kind of like it. I, as I said, I was running out of contour because I love the packaging of Too Faced so much. I really do. I really think that they do a great job at packaging. We have all of these colors for the contouring. Have a deep chocolate right here. Have a milk chocolate right in the middle. We have something that I cannot explain, but we do have a nutty chocolate, sort of like a pumpkin kind of looking chocolate, a white chocolate, and a violet chocolate. And they smell amazing. Having these guys like in the, oh my God, I'm so very happy. I will definitely use these. As of now, after opening all of this, I am low key regretting giving up my BoxyCharm Premium subscription and canceling it. But let's go over the products right now. The Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask was $49. The Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette is $44. The Milk Makeup is $15, that lip oil and cheek. The Grace and Stella Anti-Wrinkle Energizing Face Masks is $25. The Billion Dollar Brows Sculpting Dual Brush is $30. Those are brow brushes, okay? And the Living Proof Restore Repair Live-in conditioner is $30. I would never spend $30 on that, but whatever. That's me. This was it, you guys. All of these boxes were pretty amazing. Every single time I open a boxy charm, I do kind of like rethink if I should be canceling the subscription, but I think that for now, I'm gonna let it go and do other things with the channel with you guys. But if you guys do want me to go back to BoxyCharm and have at least that one unboxing video every now and then, let me know. I will do that too. Whatever you guys wanna watch from me, I am down. This is it for this video. Let me know down in the comments which one of all of these palettes, even the contour palettes, which ones do you guys think that you would be more excited to get? And with that, I leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Ring the bell button so you can get notified every time I post. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next upload. Bye.